When pipetting, it is best to use your non-dominant hand to operate the bulb and operate your pipette with your dominant hand. In order to rinse the pipette, draw a small volume of solution into the bulge of the pipette and hold it there. Maintain a tight seal with your fingertip on the pipette to ensure that no solution escapes. It is good practice to always wipe down the tip of a pipette after removing it from solution to prevent contamination. Tilt and rotate the pipette to rinse all surfaces with solution. Additionally, allow some solution to flow beyond the graduation mark of the pipette to ensure that the entire surface is rinsed properly. When draining a pipette, always keep it vertical with its tip in contact with the surface of the receiving container. To properly clean a pipette, always rinse it three times. In subsequent rinses, do not allow solution from the pipette to contaminate the stock solution. To avoid contamination, keep the pipette tip away from the solution until the bulb is in place. Additionally, begin to draw air into the pipette before it reaches a solution. Wiping down the tip of the pipette after removing it from solution ensures that no drops remain on the outside which otherwise would cause contamination. Though this is not a necessary part of rinsing the pipette, doing it during the rinses reinforces this good habit. You will notice that some solution will remain in the tip of the pipette once it has drained fully. This volume has been accounted for in the calibrated volume and should not be expelled at any point. Although it is not often necessary, it is good practice to learn to rinse the pipette with a minimum amount of solution. Using too much solution to rinse your pipette may leave you with none to analyze. Ideally, you should be able to rinse the pipette three times with less than its calibrated volume. To transfer an aliquot of solution, you need to be able to fill the pipette completely. If you are unable to fill it in the first attempt, press the tip to the bottom of the beaker and maintain a tight seal at the top with your index finger. Re-squeeze the bulb and begin drawing up solution again. You need to draw solution above the calibration line when filling a pipette. With careful control, you will then lower the meniscus to the line, allowing you to deliver the exact volume into the container desired. Remember, when draining a pipette, keep it upright at all times and keep the tip in contact with the receiving container. Maintain this contact with the container for a few seconds after the flow appears to stop. This will ensure that all the solution has been transferred properly.